Thanks for your interest in the Vertical Oyster Garden program. Today we're going to learn what vertical oyster gardens are, why they are important in helping to restore water quality, and how to hang one from your dock. Let's dive in! Oysters are marine bivalves, or double-shelled organisms. They live in both inner tidal and subtidal areas, so you often see oyster bars exposed at low tide. Oysters are extremely important to the estuary. They provide habitat and feeding grounds for a variety of critters, including birds and iconic fishes like snapper and grouper. Additionally, oysters are natural filter feeders, meaning they remove nutrients and harmful pollutants from the water while feeding on microscopic algae. It is estimated that a healthy oyster can filter between 20 to 50 gallons of water per day. Because they filter nutrients from our waterways, oysters support a healthy estuary by improving both water quality and water clarity, helping to keep the bay beautiful and blue. The ability for oysters to improve water quality while providing valuable habitat makes them a priority for restoration efforts throughout the Sarasota and Tampa Bay region. One way you can be part of the Bay's restoration story is by adopting a vertical oyster garden, also known as a VOG, and installing it onto your dock. Vertical oyster gardens are strings of recycled shells collected from local restaurants participating in the Gulf Coast Oyster Recycling and Renewal Program. These strings of oyster shells are suspended in the water and provide great habitat for young larval oysters to settle and grow. Residential seawalls and canals don't have enough surface area to support oyster growth, so hanging a VOG is a great way to improve water quality in your canal while also increasing habitat structure for fish and birds. Oysters need a balance of fresh and salt water to grow. Therefore, we recommend installing VOGs on docks over bays and the tidally influenced reaches of rivers and creeks, not in lakes or stormwater ponds. Adopting a vertical oyster garden is easy. Simply drive to the south entrance of Robinson Preserve by the nest. After you arrive at the nest, locate the VOG station in the west side of the parking lot and scan the QR code with any smartphone or tablet camera. Click the link that appears on your camera screen when the QR code is scanned and complete the registration form by indicating how many VOGs you would like to adopt. Once you have finished this registration form, you will receive a passcode to unlock the VOG station. Simply take the VOGs you need. Be sure to close and lock the VOG station once you are finished. Installing your newly adopted VOG on your dock is simple. First, you will need a few supplies. You will need your registered VOG, an eye screw or wood screw, and a drill. You might also want some twine or line to hang your VOG if your dock is significantly higher than the water. Once you have acquired all of your supplies, you are ready to begin installation. Choose a place for your VOG. Be sure to choose a spot with the most water flow and that has deep enough water to cover the VOG at high tide. Once you have chosen a good spot for your vertical oyster garden, screw the eye screw or wood screw into the side of the dock. If you are using a wood screw, be sure to leave enough of the screw exposed to hang your VOG off of. After your screw is in place, you will then need to determine the best height or depth to hang your VOG. To calculate the appropriate depth for your VOG, check the dock pilings and seawalls for oyster and barnacle growth. This is the easiest to do at low tide. The region with the greatest amount of barnacle or oyster growth is the optimal location for your VOG. You can then hang your VOG off of the wood screw or eye bolt, making sure that your VOG is in the optimal barnacle growth zone. You may need to use some line or twine to lower the VOG down. Remember to be patient. It may take several months for your oysters to colonize your VOG. After a few months, adoptees will receive an email from the program leads. We will ask you to pull out your VOG and inspect it for growth. All of the growth data collected will be used to help scientists understand colonization patterns of oysters around the watershed. But that's for another video. Until then, have fun watching the critters colonize your newly adopted VOG.